Hi everybody, and today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're going to take a trip down memory lane here at Memory Lane Antiques. Let's do this. Let's do it. Hey Dawn, they got your favorite restaurant here, Taco Bell sign. Taco Bell, awesome. Taco Bell. It's one of the older looking bells, I think. Well, you need a Taco Bell sign, they got one here. Um, $500. Awesome. Can't I go wrong. It still lights up. It says it still lights up. Got an old Speedway sign back there. A couple um, cigarette advertising. They even got a little red wing shoes back there. Okay, Don, so what did you find? A little Grand Auto Oh, yeah, that's cool. I had a friend that um, had one of those. He used to actually move across the front yard. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it's it? It's kind of going around. Well, it looks like they have everything here that you would need for a, a little market or a diner. I love that royal crown cola sign there okay so we haven't even gotten inside yet and there's just so much out here on the front okay let's go inside and see what they got in there right As a kid, my dad used to take us to this Coney Island uh, called Plato's, and they had one of these Budweiser Clydesdale um, globes here. And the Clydesdale would go around in circles, and I remember a kid just um, watching the Clydesdales go around and around and around. So here's something else I had when I was a kid. I actually had this crane, the exact crane. Wow. <laughs> So I had this exact same crane when I was a kid. I remember that little plastic wheel there and then the top one. That's really cool. Yep. Didn't have an eight ball on it. I think it had like a little grabber or something at the end. What do you got? Here's one of those old sleigh bells. That's some real sleigh Looks bells, like it's huh? Some leather. Yeah. Real sleigh bells. Mm -hmm. 
I bet you Santa's looking for them, right? Probably. Well, there's a big, huge Winnie the Pooh back here. <laughs> uh, Eighty dollars, big old Winnie the Pooh. Look at this um, set of Coca-Cola bottles here. That is really cool. Okay, Dawn. So, what did you find? An uh, old rotary phone with a clip on. It looks like military. No, what this was is that your the phone the phone repair man would come out to your house, and this is how they would test to see if you got a signal. So they can go up on the pole and they can actually hook this phone to the top of the pole and see if you actually get a ringtone. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the reason why there's a hook on it so he can hook it to his belt. I actually know what that is. When I was a kid, I used to watch the phone guy <laughs> go around the neighborhood trying to fix people's phones, you know. Okay, so this is a really cool booth. They got an old Coke machine. Really cool Pepsi cooler. I love the old antique Coke machines. Goes better with a Coke. Then there's a phone booth here. <laughs> Got a little uh, chair to sit down there. Of course, the old phone. I actually had this Tuggy Tutor. <laughs> that is really cool. $35. My dad had a Komen cooler like this. Mork and Mindy trading cards. Remember Mork and Mindy? Mm -hmm. Night Rider. Some kind of liquor. And there's like a ballerina in the middle of it. Of course you have the old Roy Rogers chuck wagon, right? That's really cool. Those little uh, plastic um, figurines I know are worth money. old jar of marbles Santa Claus on a sled <laughs> look at this old entertainment center this is a true entertainment center you had your your TV then you had your radio and record player all built in look at this guy here <laughs> I have no clue what he is but He's definitely something. Look at all this stuff that uh, Disney watch there. Wall clock. Got a little bit of everything in here.
get a little bit of a uh, wildcat juice there. I think everybody's grandmother had one of these ceramic trees. My, my grandma did. Yeah, my mother still has a ceramic tree. I used to have a pair of skates when I was a kid like that. You put them on your shoes. Oh, wow, yeah. They want, what, $38 for them? Those were a lot of fun. So what did you think about that antique store? They got a lot of cool, interesting things in there. Yeah, Sevierville has got a lot of antiques. There's a lot of antique stores all through the Smoky Mountain area. So if you like antique stores, um, please subscribe because we're going to have plenty of um, antique stores coming up. Right? Right. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, we had a great time today, didn't we? Yes. Okay. Until next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.